This is a really cute card, so the first thing you want to do is fold all of five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to fold it in half. Then I'm going to take this cute stamp set called Yippity Skippity and I'm using Early Espresso and I am going to stamp the awesome thanks. Right up there in the corner. I've taken a piece of soft, soft suede and I've run it through the honeycomb embossing folder and ran it through my big shot. This piece is four by five and a quarter. And the first thing I'm going to do is roll back the edges. So if you'll take a bone folder and just kind of gently though, because this honeycomb tears easy. And then I just take, this is a skewer. And so then you can just start it. Oop, got to get it started around there. And you want to run it down so that the words are exposed when you glue that down. So maybe just a little more. Then I'm going to glue it. I'm doing this because I'm in a swap that um, is for fancy folds. Okay, happy with that. Now, how do I get these hearts? What I did with these hearts, I'm sorry, with the flower, is I took our full heart punch, and then I ran a piece of strawberry slush through the Big Shot using the Perfect Polka Dots embossing folder. And before I punch it, I'm going to cut it in half because you can get better quantities of punches out of it. So I'm going to punch. And I need seven. I'm going to turn it around. You see, this way you can really get up in there and use it all. Okay, so you punch seven of those, which I have done over here, and then I use one of these little foamy pads. Comes with the paper piercer or whatever. The soft pad, and then I use the bone folder. And I'm just gonna to fold these hearts in half. Sometimes you can just do it, but see it doesn't go together well. So if you'll take the, I want that point, I want it to fold right in the point and I have a hard time. That's good. So that's why I'm doing the bone folder. Okay, so now I'm going to take a large rhinestone. I'm going to place a couple of these guys around here. Now you want the little, the little radius of, you want the top of the heart facing out. I'm thinking that's good. So then you just start gluing the hearts down. Making sure that the fold is facing the same way all the way around and that the top of the heart is facing out. All right, there you go. New way to use your heart punch. 
Enjoy.